Neil, fine margins again, but not the result uh, we were after this afternoon. No, I know. It's, it's just disappointing. The two goals we conceded were poor. And yet, I think we had some great chances to have scored. You know, I think when Colts goes through and he, he loves to keep up, and you, you're thinking that's a the goal. They managed to clear it off, but it's not like a clear off the line and, and, and we get the second ball. It goes straight into the keeper's hands. And then obviously, Corey Whiteley with his couple of chances. I'm not saying, you know, it would have changed the result, but um, you go in one, one all after with 20 minutes to go, and I'm looking at the boys and I feel we look, look solid. We get a result out of it, but the second goal sort of kills it off when it's. You know, it's such a weak goal for on our, on our part. I haven't seen it yet, but um, you know, score straight from a corner, that just can't happen. It's almost punishment, isn't it, for missing the chance for them to then go down the other end and they're a strong side. And, uh, Absolutely. And you know, the, the team that scores 14 goals in two games, you don't have to give them chances, you know, and I don't think they have earn it. That's, that's, that's my disappointment. You know, if they'd have outplayed us and put in some great... It wasn't about that. It was two, two preventable goals that we've, that we've gifted them, and yet we had chances to put it away and we just didn't take it. And Damien for Michael Chambers, how do you feel he did? We did really well. I thought um, Chambo, I thought uh, Winfield, I thought was outstanding today. I thought Jack Holland, I, 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 I can't, I can't um, criticise any of the players today, effort-wise. Um, just but those margins when you're when you're in those playoffs and you're top of the league or something like that, you, you need to be taking them. And I think at the beginning of the season we were taking them. We just got to get back to uh, winning ways. And uh, you do welcome back, obviously Chris Bush and uh, potentially another couple of injured players as well. Yep. As we uh, look for the final running now. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we've just said every every point now counts. We've got to get as many points on the board as quickly as we can. We've got a difficult game against Barnet. They're all difficult games. There's there's so much to play for, top and bottom. And um, we'll be we'll be up for it. What we do need, we need that crowd getting behind us like it was against, you know, Dagenham and Redbridge, you know, and people like that when there's nearly full house, 3,000 people down there. That's what we're going to need going into this, this last little bit of the season because they act like a player today. You know, you saw the crowd today getting behind their players and um, that's brilliant. If they can get behind us, we'll, we'll definitely get up there. And it is two defeats in a row, but it's two defeats where it's been very narrow margins and, and we've actually played quite well. Brilliant. You know, as I say, we had the two wins beforehand, um, Dover and Dagenham and Redbridge. And, you know, we, we Notts County didn't deserve to lose. And tonight, I don't, you know, we, we have lost. I think we've lost to a good side. I think they're a very good side. Um, but as I say, I think we had our chances to have uh, maybe got something out of it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.